man, we we here to talk about uh, all the stuff going on in the coach these last couple weeks. A lot has happened since the last time we've had you on. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Kendrick Lamar, King Kendrick, he is keeping his foot on hip-hop's throat. He dropped a surprise album. He's announced a tour. Uh, he's done a whole bunch of stuff over these last couple weeks. Uh, did 319 last week in his debut week with no hard copy. I just want to say people who, of course, Larry, obviously, you know, music industry stuff. No physical copies, no bundles, which a lot of niggas use, and, and they bundle thing. You know, Travis Scott, I'm looking at you. No bundles, uh, none of that. No promo, no lead up single. You go out there and do 319 strictly off streams and, and and digital downloads, and then second week did 163. That's really really good. And then announced a tour, his first ever stadium tour. Man, first of all, tell me these last couple weeks that you've seen in Kendrick and. Closing out the year strong. You know, the Super Bowl performance is about 64 days away. Tell me how you feel about Kendrick closing uh, 2024 the way he's been doing it. Well, I mean, you know, I had to put on my red hat on some TDE shit, but I feel <laughs> like, you know, we've been in this we've been in this for a long time, me and you, Scott, and it's a few other people who I, we know that's been down. They won dot guys. Man, so you know how we feel. It's This is... Taking my bias out, you know, I'm not going to be just super fanning, but this is a master class of how to capitalize on a moment. Uh, Kendrick has been an artist that's been like always been heralded as one of the best artists, artists out. Uh, he also has been, you know, he gets crazy awards. He gets crazy recognition, yada, yada, yada. But he also one of them guys who only drop like every two or three years. Uh, most of my favorite rappers or favorite artists in general are kind of the same as him. Uh, he don't do a lot of interviews. He did the interview this year with SZA. Uh, he don't do a lot of videos for real. Like not like the flurry he gave us. He gave people exactly what they wanted from him this year. And I think that if anything, all other rappers could take note of how to do this. Now I uh, I do know it's some plays that have been in the making for a while, like even with the soldier field, I mean the soldier field, the uh Super Bowl stuff, I'm sure that play has been going on and, and those talks have been going on for a minute, at least a, a, since he's dropped like that. But for it to be, you know, it was just a great time to strike. It was a great time to uh you know just show that you who he was. And I feel like this is really great for hip hop in general and for all us Kendrick fans who knew who he was from jump. So like to see him being able to do something that we never really get to see. We don't get to see rappers do a, a stadium tours for real. And it's just right. him and him and SZA. Hopefully, I really pray, maybe Dolce could open up for them. Yo, shout out to Dolce. Her uh, uh, tiny desk is crazy. Yeah, she's going crazy. She I didn't crazy. even see the whole thing yet. I only seen a clip, but. And you got to give love to Top, man. Top, I feel like one of the few moguls, and I don't feel Top gets the respect he deserves. Who I still agree. does artist development, bro? You can tell she's a trained performer. And I think they asked her was she gonna open on Breakfast Club, and she just had like a smile on her face. I think that probably, uh, maybe not for the full tour, but some show a couple dates probably. Yeah, she she to me that's a whole nother conversation about Dolce. I think she. <laughs> I was just thinking in the car on my way here because I heard like uh three or four Glow Glorilla records on the way, and I'm like, man, it's it's. It's a nice crowd for the female rappers right now, but the top, I say four, is Dolce, her, Dolce, Glorilla, Doja Cat, and Lotto have been running the game right now. But people yeah. are really waking up to Dolce right now. I think she's super crazy. Uh, I actually like stop and listen to her stuff when she drops. So uh, I'm a big fan of her. But with the Kendrick thing, like, I, we we could talk about Dolce because of what he's done, and like you said, with the TDE thing, they are really great at developing artists. And you know, I hope his relationship with them does bring her on there for that tour. Did y'all know that that one song was hers? It's like a pop song. I fucking forgot the name of it though, y'all. But that's just how raw Dolce is. I just have to say that because the, the girl, I'm gonna find the song and and I'm a, I'm gonna mention it once I find it, but. I'm really excited about everything going on. I don't even know what else to expect. Is he coming out with another album? Well, from from what I've heard from very reliable sources, we've been right time and time again uh, that he's got more coming. Now I don't know if that's a album. Uh, who's the uh, the Mexican homie who was on um, 
uh, not Doty, the other guy. He said it was, he, I think he let it slip this with Deluxe. And Kendrick doesn't do stuff not on, like, everything he does is intentional. The song mm-hmm. you heard in the GNX trailer is not on the album. There's two cars in the GNX trailer for a reason. In the Squad Bluff video, they got uh, the uh, Isaac Hayes. That album cover is a double disc. The Nate Dogg album cover they got. Is a double disc. I think that there's another disc coming later on. Maybe a deluxe. Maybe he drops that before the Super Bowl, around the Super Bowl. But there is more coming. Um, but when I think about this year for Kendrick, Lefty Gunplay, this was his name. Uh, he let it. He said it was going to be deluxe. But um, and even I think DJ Head and Ab Soul did like an IG live, and they both kind of like, yo, your homie got more coming. Um, to me, when I think about this year for Dot. I forgot who tweeted this, but it's right. I feel like if somebody found Dot in like 2009, 2010, it's like somebody who knew what Bitcoin was around that time. Like, I, I feel like I'm getting everything. And it's been a rough couple of years for Dot fans, man, because we've been like, you know, a lot of people, are, oh, he don't trap a lot. He leaving y'all hanging, da 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 da. And he showed everybody. When I think about the top years of hip hop, since I've been listening, it's a couple of years to stand out for me where, where artists just body. You got 96 Pac. You got, 98 DMX, you got 0350, you got mm-hmm. 08 Wayne, mm-hmm. you got uh, you know, 2018 Drake, you know what I'm saying? 2015 Future, like those type of runs, I think, like it was crazy by Kendrick's run. And when Dam came out, he was selling more records, mm-hmm. but it feels like he's never been bigger, and I think he's no doubt being MVP, and I think it's poetic justice for it to come on a stadium tour. I think that. You know, a lot of people got to put some more respect on Scissor's name. She is a multi-platinum artist. Her last two albums both did three million. That's a I don't know if y'all know anything about streaming. It takes a lot of streams just to go billion a million sold now. Hey. And, she, and I think that's perfect person to rock with. Hey, I got a question. When she dropped her last album, was it before the Grammys? Uh, I think it was. I think it's because before. I know she dropped her first single two years before she dropped the album, and it was in yeah. December. Yeah. People don't really drop heavy records in December, bro. So, like, yeah. to 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 just to say to her status is is really up there. Like the way she she able to drop kind of when she want to in a way, or they drop whenever they want to, and she still is running the charts. She's still selling the most records. Like she's going crazy. Yeah. He's going nuts. Dante, what do you think about this year from that? I I mean, it's it's been amazing to see. It's for somebody who doesn't pop out. You know, he really, you know, is, is usually in the house and really just secluded and, you know, is an old school artist. Like Larry said, he's one of those guys who, until he gets the feel for it, he's not going to really just come out here and create. Like a lot of guys who will just sit there and flood the in- industry with content for the sake of making money. That's never been Kendrick. But, I mean, everything he's done, since the start of the beef um, has been, like you said, it's like he's been playing a different game. It's like he's playing chess, but everybody else is playing checkers. And so, um, and DJ Head said this on the show that he has with uh, Elliot Wilson, when you really think about it, this is the perfect time for him to really up his production because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in L.A. and in the West Coast over the next, you know, eight years. You know, in two years, you got the World Cup. In four years, you got the Olympics. Uh, There's a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, for him being, you know, the biggest artist in rap right now is really an opportunity for him to position himself to be at the forefront of a lot of that. And so I think, you know, this has been, like you just said, just a, a master class. And it's been great to see as somebody who, um, I'm actually talking to the homies who put me on Kendrick right now, but um, I'm, you know, I first started listening to Kendrick when I was in school, uh, the, the welcome, uh, the lookout for detox freestyle. Yeah. He, did, mm-hmm. he just went, insane and so seeing his development from there and like you said even mentioned this sister you really got to shout out tde because they're a label that they don't rush the product like they put it out when it's ready you know we yeah. waited years for schoolboy's next uh album obviously you know with him dealing with the loss of mac miller his best friend and everything he took his time with that but just seeing the way that they create and their attention to detail and the their love for the art that's something you got you really got to appreciate because now they love for each other man like the heart six yeah. of the day one td guy made me like i was in tears from folks and them listen to that song bro yeah right. that, it's a great song bro and like you've seen the way that they work and like with the fact that you know we always talk about how people have now taken the art 
and it's a cash register. It's like, okay, I want to get rich quick, make a couple of dollars and get out of it. You know, um, not to knock them, but one person who's a prime example of this is like Lil Yachty. Like Yachty's very much a commercial, you know, I'm doing this for the money. I don't give a fuck about art kind of guy. And, you know, TDE, it seems like everybody on that label is the exact opposite. Like that's, that's not why they do this. Like obviously they've had the success so they see the money, but it's truly about the art. And so like this year has been, a hell of a run, and I'm excited to see what they keep doing because I do think uh now that he's you know he don't do it for the fame, but now that he's gotten this energy and this response from the culture of everybody saying, nah, bro, we rocking with you. We really want you to keep doing this. I'm I'm I want to see what he does next. So cool, so cool. Triple double hat trick, I know the cold too. Ice tray, go for tray. Yeah, we cold too. Get in paper on these player haters.